Hello again everyone, my name is Jock Dog and welcome to another episode of Imperator Rome. Uh, we are about to go to war with the Kosar. By extension though, that does mean we are going to have issues with... to the, their allied nations. When are we doing a multiplayer Imperator Rome game then? I'm unsure, honestly. My main worry is uh, that there'll be one or two people too competitive. He'll just stomp everyone else. Which is the same problem in absolutely every Paradox game as multiplayer. Uh, and it's not an easily solvable problem. Ah. Don't think there's too many Imperator of your own good players. You'd be surprised. There's actually some really damn good ones. Nice. Okay. Uh, Damashoka. Befriend with money or political influence. I'll go for political influence this time. Uh, I need 200 gold and I can plant the Sacred Mahabodhi. Handed to the dungeon with him. Uh, you're slightly better at zeal, but I'll put you in charge. Even though you've not got as high raw stats, you've got a chance of innovations with you. Okay, well, war's going pretty well so far. A bit worried you're gonna backstab us. Uh, state religion, happiness, local noble output in our capital city. Yes, please. Hey, Wex, good to see you, dude. Okay, another siege in our favour. We need to go uh, try and push them back in that location. Do I go Buddhist? I don't think I've ever actually been Buddhist. So I don't know whether it's worthwhile to do or not. Uh, do do do. Yeah, I'm not changing my capital C. No chance. So we want to go besiege over there. We're going to have a shit ton of aggressive expansion after this war. Mm -hmm. 
to go for the extra discipline again, as per normal. And free stability or 100 gold. I'll take the 100 gold. down to that. Oh, the Mercs actually lost the battle. actually managed to retake a fort. Do any of these retire me to take your land? Yeah, I need here. you a tribal vassal. Now I just need to try and save some of our uh, cities from being besieged here. That's quite a big barbarian force. I'm going to go besiege over here and force you to be a vassal as well, I think. They have successfully managed to retake their two forts, which is far from ideal. I think I'll just directly take your land. With it being on the coast and everything. Only a real punishment will deter embezzlers to the dungeon with you. Uh, yeah, trusting the Tamils is fine by me. I'm gonna go the overland route to attack the pirates, which means we get more morale of armies for a little bit. Uh, I do need to focus on our capital a bit here. Get a couple of foundries down in some cities. Uh, let's turn them to Hinduism. Okay, we got we got barbarians ravaging our lands, but honestly, my forces are busy. I can't do anything about them. Incendiary slaves. him as happy as we can. Okay. Damn it, they white pieced me. So ideally, we let them just win this war now. Alright, that's it. I need these uh, barbarians dealt with. Okay, 
City of Anurhapura. Uh, Glorious Gemstones is going to take a bit of time. Spices of Olanka. We can sort that out, I think. Fifty political influence, getting ten stability. Yes, please. Okay, let's retake that for, and we are going to import some. Gemstones and some precious metals. Right, Forty nine percent chance each tick of succeeding. And is there something else I want down here? I suppose I probably want Boeotian helmet and then we can go elsewhere. Truce until 476, so a couple of years. How many pops do you have? 913 compared to 1063, so we actually have the population advantage. Intrigues me somewhat. Let's disband that mercenary group as well for a little while. Uh, two different provincial investments of any kind. We can do that. Uh, we're going to go trade, trade. Also, we need more buildings, not capital. We need a hell of a lot of moolah to make all these changes. Let's get uh, ten points of influence for six stability is very much worthwhile. I think for I think for the first time we might actually go for something other than just the additional discipline. Go for the commerce income. We actually make far more in taxes than we do commerce, which is relatively rare. Uh, we're gonna go religious endowments then I think for both provinces. And um, we're gonna import some more fruits. Extra character loyalty is always nice to have. Spices of Lanka, all solid. What is it? Every ten slave pops. Which means glorious gemstones. And state investments. And now we just need to finish construction in our capital. I'm going for pretty 
expensive and long term buildings here, but they'll be very useful for us. March and Andra. The other thing is, I suppose I could go after the Maldives. Uh, how big's your fleet now, by the way? Ten ships? But we are melt at four, they're only on melt at one. I don't think I want my character to be a lunatic. So our main levy is now 20k men strong, which is pretty nice. Send a mercenary group to guard the western portion of my lands. Now where might you be going? Okay, I don't think there's any other changes or any other innovations here I want at the moment. So I think I'm going to go down the, uh, the money route. We have plenty more import routes that have opened up. their army, which is very nice to see happen. Feeling I probably need to hire the other mercenary group here. Which is going to take up a large chunk of my extra funds, but they do have quite a few men available. So I'd rather not uh, risk my western attack being blunted and wiped out. too crazy. Uh, 
Uh, we want harsh treatment. Uh, you have uh, so much corruption, it's unreal. 60 odd percent corruption is absolutely nuts. I think that's pretty much enough. So that makes me a major power. Uh, we're not getting much luck with uh, getting these borderlines. Trade routes open again. I'm going to have to do a full swap of trade routes at some point. How many buildings we got on our capital now? 9 out of 12. Let's put a uh, thingy down, call it war. There's only one fort that actually needs besieging. Actually no, that's a complete lie, it's the second one that I missed. Forces and let's assault the fort. Don't need the mercs any longer. Opinion with you. Got some province investments, which is nice. So I actually need to integrate you to finish the last one. That's fine. Uh, we've got the Border Chera, which gives additional charisma, but only one out of three is unlucky. It is pretty unlucky. Gain an additional martial and finesse free province investments. Cool. 
all within the lifespan of uh, our first ruler as well, which is nice. Could just cancel the tribal status. The heritage of Demon Bull. Morale of armies, army movement speed increase. Sounds pretty interesting. Uh, rank and dominance. I think we'll just cancel tribal status. Which gives us a truce until... Oh, we just need to cast this bell eye. Okay. We can sure do that. <laughs> Fabricate claims. Doesn't really matter on which province we do it for. And then we just go after Andrew again. So I think there are. Are there additional uh, ones here? Yeah, black polished ware, that's new. I don't see anything else, so. Not at the moment, anyway. There might be in other trees. In terms of forts, there's no way I need all of these anymore. So we can bin the majority of them. A new auditory researcher. So that saves us a bit of money each month, which is nice. Let's get the last two Court of Wars built. Um, we're going to gather our levies ready. So 82 stability at the minute, which is a rather crazy amount this early in the game. Uh, lose 25 stability. Oofed. Oofed. That's a bit rough. Go for additional political influence. Andra decided to join. Alright, well, if they want to join, that's fine by me. It just means I can conquer more of our land again. They are probably going to cause me issues ransacking up in the north a little bit to begin with, but long term shouldn't be a problem. What can I import here? I'll actually be useful. Uh, grain. Let's import some grain.
need you to go. Try and climb up northeastern area. Victorious consort. It's always a nice event to get. Causes us problems. Let's pull a mercenary group back. Abandon the northern areas of land to begin with. And that's the first of the Moyan armies in our lands. This is pretty worrying. I can now do one can dominance. And then VJ on reclamation. I need to gather my forces. Uh, he could be useful. I want to keep them on side. Don't really have any forts to rely on. On the plus side, we temporarily outnumber them. In. That won't last for long. Yeah, they they are wanting to pull back here. Really wish I had import routes that could uh, improve my troops. You'd have a little advantage I can get. What's your uh, Miltech? Three. And ours is five. Right, well, I think that seems a good place to end this second video. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. I will see you in the next one.